Hello, very good evening. In today's lecture, basically, we will see how you can create an event on a text view component. Now, that so people have been asking about me, um, is it same as button or is it different or whatever, how we do. So if you have a text view component within your Android Studio and you want an event to occur on it, so that when a user clicks on it, something happens. So what we do is we can do our same on-click listener on that particular event. So if I click on a CV, for example, in this button, an event has occurred. This is a text field. If I click on this portfolio, this happens. So in this tutorial, we will learn about how we create this two buttons, assign it a particular constraints, lay out them, and then assign it an on-click listener event for these toast messages to appear. My name is Dr. Sean Bradley. If you're here for the first time, please don't forget to visit my page and subscribe to the channel. You will find that on my channel, there are more than 500 video lectures based on PHP, Mel scripting, Maya, Maya embedded language, uh, 3D graphics from developing HTML, CSS, JavaScript to working on Android, Photoshop, multimedia technology and so on and so forth. So these tutorials will be very helpful and very productive for you. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon and receive notifications regularly. Let's begin. So what I do is we have this empty canvas available in Android Studio uh, with just the constraint layout. I will just come here and create a text view and drag and drop here. So again, the idea is that we will use this text view as an event listener. And lots of people have been asking me, how do we assign an event listener or a click uh, event drive from a text view so for example if i have this text view available let me create this one here and let me just drag and drop another text listener here and let me drag and drop here so what i will do is i will go inside the attributes editor for these two this can be my for example um my cv kind of a thing button and this can be for example my portfolio kind of a button right so I have a, two buttons available here, so, but basically they are text views. So I want to set them as buttons. So what I do very quickly is just scroll down here and let's just make them like, look like a button. So I can say, for example, 20 SP and select this CV also, and I will just set it to 20 SP. So both of them appear uh, centralized as well as thick and font. Then if you scroll on the top, again, you have width 80 DP. And if you select this, this is 100 and something. So both are off. Whenever designing components, make sure they both look the same size in uh, arrangements. So this becomes 100 dp and I select this and I also make this as 100 dp. So they both are same in width. I select this component. This can be, for example, 60 dp. And if I select this, this would be my 60 dp. Again, this is not the topic, but arranging the components properly is again quite essential and quite important. So once these two components are here very quickly, what I will do is I will assign it to this border and I will assign it to this thing. Then I will take this component and assign it to this border. So these two are aligned together to this way. But again, this is not done very properly. So what I do, I'll select this component, make sure this is zero, zero. I will select this, pin it to the right as well, and make sure this is also set to zero, zero. So once you do that, your components are automatically aligned together at a zero axis. So once I select this, let me just click on the top. This is 32 pixels from the top, making sure when I click on the central button here, this is again also 32 from the top. So now my components are constrained and arranged properly. Again, the content starts from this point. So what I do, I select, I select this component again very quickly, come back here, make it the centralized text. Same thing goes with this thing. You can add padding to make it down, bring these two components down and so on and so forth. Play around with these things. What I will do very quickly now is, let me just give it something called background. Where's the background color gone? There it is, all right? So let me just give it a very quickly one, this blue color, and I will select this and let me just give it a little bit different of bluish shade, right? So I have two buttons available now, finally. Now, what I need is when I click on this text view and toast should appear, an event should appear, an event should trigger, okay? That can be any event you want. So what I do is same thing, select a button, scroll on the top, make sure the text ID is set to something. So I will just name it as text, uh, CV so I can remember it says refactor it I said yes I come here I said txt port f o l i o folio okay and refactor it so two buttons organized structured together fantastic I renamed them both so the IDs of the both are now text CV and text portfolio that's the essential thing always rename your components now we come back in the top we go inside our main activity class. So on this main activity class, we have on create event. Inside this on create event, what I will do is first of all, I will create something called text view. Oopsie daisy do. T E. Okay, this is all caps. Text V I E W text view object. Now we create text view object because we need the text view component. So I said, for example, text is equals to find view by ID 
r dot id dot that text component that we just created for example text cv so now here what we did is we said that there's an xml file that contains a component called text cv fetch that component and give it to the java file so that java can do the backend coding for it so this is what we did here find the text cv component from the text layout and then fetch it and because when it's fetch it, it it will bring the text view component so we need to receive that text view component here so the text view component is returned by the find view id and it is assigned to this text variable of a text view now very simple code you can come here you write the txt dot same thing set on click listener okay same code on click listener this is the code that we use on the button as well this is where the confusion occurs many people think that oh this is for the button what about the text field same thing you do set on click listener event for the text field also same concept same component okay so on the same text view we use on click listener that basically means event to drive so when i click on this button an event should occur what event should occur i will write new create an object view on click listener now this method pops up you don't need to remember it you just need to remember the new word and the capital v word the message comes in you write that message now what we did here is we told this text field that you have we set an on click listener listen for an event to occur all right as soon as an event occurs, as soon as user clicks on this event, create a runtime object, create an object, and within that object, override a method called onClick. And inside that onClick, now you can do whatever you want to do. Right? So, for example, I will create a toast for it. Toasts are basically very quickly a simple alert message that we can create. So, toast dot make text. This basically means the alert message that pops up in your Android in a black form. Small message will pop up that a button has been clicked or a text field has been clicked. So once this is done, text.make text, we will say, okay, uh, get application context and we will give a message. So we will say text view component has been clicked. Okay, so now what we did here is we have said that uh, get me this text view component okay oh sorry first the guest application context what this method does is it will get the running context of the application okay so because we are using this method inside a runtime class so what we need to do is we need to um, get the current application context so this method will give me that okay this is the current application that is running inside this application to write this message and make sure this message is in TOST toast dot length long or short you can use both i will use a long method then show now show me this toast message that's it that's all you need to do we create uh, we fetch the object then we assign it an on click listener view new on click listener any component you want even for an image even for a button image or any other component that you want an event to occur so whenever user clicks on it something happen this is what you need to do you need to just remember this line of codes set on click listener space new view on click listener bracket open bracket close and then uh, curly bracket starts curly bracket close and this thing so if you don't want to remember it just remember two things set on click listener new event now as soon as you execute this code voila something will happen magically okay so my uh, app is finally up and running now what we do you see two buttons here and i click on cv button and you will find the text view component has been clicked a message pops up this is called the toast so every time i click on it a message pops up at the bottom every time i click on it a message pops up at the bottom so you see even the text field we can have an event on it so we just click on a text field an event occur now you can customize this any event that you want in your code so this is for the first button what happens for the second button Okay, what happens for the second button? So what I do is I copy this entire code. That's it. We love copy paste thing. Just copy the code and paste it. Text view 2. This time I want to find out not about the CV text, but on the about the CV portfolio. All right. So text portfolio is done. Now everything else remains same except this text becomes 2 again. So find me a component called portfolio. Assign it to a text variable. Okay why we need to find it it's an xml file and we are using java file so from this xml file find a component called text view port or text view portfolio find that component and assign it to a java because we are using it within a java so that's why we need to assign a java variable okay so this is java text view 
Java variable, find the component assigned it to this particular object. Now we use this object to do whatever actions we want to do. So we use a pure Java code on click listener event, new on click listener override on click event. And then you print the same toast method here. So I can use text view component uh, text port f o l i o folio component click and I can just say text cv component click. So now I have two separate methods. So same code, I just copy paste it twice. Once it is done, now let's let me restart this app. Stop it. Restart it. Okay, so my application is now running. What I do now is very quickly click on CV button and you will need text CV component has been clicked. When this disappears, you click on portfolio, text portfolio component has been clicked. So my both events are basically being triggered correctly. So if I click on CV, CV is triggered. If I click on portfolio, portfolio is triggered. Now you note, it's taking a lot of time to disappear. That's because the length has been set to short long. So it takes a little longer time. What I can do is I can come here and write short here. And if I come back here and just write short here. Okay, enter. There we go. And then let me just click on this A icon. So this would basically mean it will just recompile it quickly and make the small changes, relaunch the app and even come back here. So now you see CV clicked and it will disappear much quicker. If I click here, portfolio and then it disappears very quicker. That's it. That's all you need to do. Okay, so on click listener, we set this method here that will perform on our event on any particular object component within Android Studio. I hope it explains it. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. And if you watch this video till the end, thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.